what you are always watching. Podvodníci. Doufám, že mi rodina dvali tu pojistku vyplatí. This is getting to be a real pain. Kvilku strpení, prosím. Skenuju. Co pak tady máme? OK. Žádný problémy? Tak jo, Augu. Můžeš jít dál. No, I don't believe it. Telling me you don't think they should all be moved there? No. Until the rubble at Rosica station is cleared, metro service outside the core is impossible. Anyway, you can tell me you are comfortable with forcing people out of their homes and into that ghetto. And comfortable enough if it's either safe or here in the city. The problem is that we can't tell which of these bombs are safe and which are getting. 
Hand it over. You better hope all your paperwork is in order, Hanzer. An unauthorized clank in the city could mean big trouble for you. Got enough trouble as it is. Is that right? One second. Centro, confirm a BH847. You must have some kind of super weapon under the hood. What I have is a job to do. Oh, and no not time let to me waste. keep you then. Get moving, asshole. Could spread throughout Europe. Všechno vidím. Vážně jsme k něčemu dobrý. Augmentation caused a rift in my family. My brother-in-law got augmented, and his siblings have been fighting about it ever since. My own sister won't talk to me. Without family, I don't know what to do. Excuse me? Yes, please tell me how to get to number 33. Turn around. Happens to me. So it's that way? No, that way. Thank you. Just around the corner. Okay, fine. Thank you. You're welcome. I told him, I'm not giving up the window seat. I can help you with something, yes? I'm looking for Laborio. It is me. You have come for the magic? I'm hoping you can help me make sense of something. A strange encounter I had. A man hiding behind a screen in the sewer, surrounded by followers of some kind. His name is Richard. We used to be partners. Richard is alive. You found him? I'm not sure what I found, but I know I didn't like it. Richard had a way of depriving me. Things I wanted to say and do, but I couldn't. I am so happy he is alive. Richard and I, we... I was sure that he... I should have known. Richard always said the show must go on. There was nothing entertaining about this. What is he doing down there? How is he doing it? I have not seen Richard in many years. We developed a show together. The evolution of stage hypnosis intensified through technology. Adapted versions of the KC and DDE designs. A social augmentation. In conjunction with modern hypnotic techniques, something much more powerful than mere persuasion. The communal construction of an alternate reality. For three hours on a Friday night, we guided people into brave new worlds. These worlds you and Richard created through hypnosis, what were they exactly? They were whatever people wanted, created together with the audience. Every night was different. After the incident, we, we were made to stop, treated as criminals. It was not right. People paid for their tickets and embarked on imaginative explorations. We did not hurt anyone. We would never hurt anyone. I'm not sure that's still true for Richard. His audience now, I'm worried they may be trapped. Is that something he could be capable of? Creating a world and keeping people there indefinitely? It depends on the personality. If someone is susceptible to the message, and if Richard keeps repeating it, it is conceivable. Why do you think Richard is doing this? What's his end game in trying to hypnotize people in a sewer? I cannot say for sure, but after the incident, after the way things began to change, Richard said he was going to find a better place. I did not hear from him again. The loss of so many people that we knew, I believe it broke him. He didn't seem very broken to me. More like a guru of some kind, with way too much control of the people in that room. No, Richard is not capable of hurting anyone. At least, he was not before. He was an idealist, the kind of man who... The worlds we created together on stage, they were more beautiful than the reality. The technology Richard is using to do all this, how does it work? Binaural beats. Richard balances his source transmission through a series of emitters that use targeted neural oscillation to stimulate specific areas of the basal ganglia. Right. Let's assume I'm not familiar with that particular ganglia. Richard is using a system of emitters that can intensify and adjust his frequency, his message, his intent. 
Imagine it. He can make the very soul of a transmission pierce into the brainwaves of his target audience. I don't need to imagine it. I already know it's terrifying. Tell me how to stop Richard. Richard is conveying a vision of himself, of themselves, of an alternate community they are building together. If it is Richard's goal to keep the people there, the only way to free them is to make them see through it. Well, how do I do that? Last time I talked to him, didn't go so well. The signal he is transmitting, its effect is limited to a specific radius. To the room where the audience is, where the emitters are installed. Wherever Richard is, must be outside of that room. So if I get to him, I'll be able to say or do whatever I want? Yes. But promise you won't hurt him. Please. I'm not promising anything. Something tells me if I do get in there, he's not going to be content to just talk. There may be a better way. The emitters, they are somewhere in the room, yes? Okay then, so wait. You wait. Just wait one second, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where are you? Come. Come to me. Wait. Okay. I think I have what I'm looking for. I think I have found what you need. Ta-da! They are scrambling devices. Our failsafe whenever things got ugly. Attach them to the emitters and it closes the ability to amplify. Good night. Show's over. Your gods are but men again. And that'll be enough to make the people in the room see through them? I hope. If they have been exposed for a very long time, you need to help them to see. But please be kind to Richard. I don't know what he has become, but I know what he was. A decent man once, who simply believed that the world should be better. We all believe that. But there are better and worse ways of going about it. I'm always telling you, Mano, people in all countries are more genuine. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely, that is what... Yes. Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Mano. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli, yes. Who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Mano? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create the problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, no doubt there are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy.
I'm with Interpol, but I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohler. <laughs> Vano, look. The only honest policeman in Prague. Kohler must want this item very much to send someone like you. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, he cannot have the calibrator, and you can't either. Dealing with Augs is bad business. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. Kohler didn't send me. I volunteered after he explained his situation. Sounded like he can use a little help. The truth is, though, I'm doing this for me. I need some repairs done, and Kohler needs the calibrator to do them. You believe this, man, Vano? Such commitment to honesty. But now I wonder about your commitment to other people. But tell me, Mr. French, how far are you willing to go to help out a friend in need? If someone needs my help, I give it, any way I can. <laughs> it is like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will let you have the calibrator. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man, Lalo. Even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? What will it cost? A favor. What kind of favor? Uh, don't worry. I will let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> what do you say? Do we have a deal, Mr... Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. Upstairs, in my office, you will find Caller's Calibrator. I will be in touch. What if I get some disease? How big is irrelevant. This world is not white and black. I speak from personal experience. All right, Kohler. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be Don't kept like waiting. So Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. Mr. Botcovelli knows what he is doing. Capo. 
Mr. Nicolazzi, he is a great man. This family is You cannot always cruise away for every little of thing. Of course. That is well, good. Initiated. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
the shopkeeper was late on his protection payments. Uh, so my away. client beat him to death with a baseball bat. Já myslela, že se policie má starat, abyste sem ve dne nechodili. To bylo blízko. Permit validation office is closed. It's always closed. to Initiated. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
Spěcháme bez urážky. Count your blessings that you are still useful to them. The establishment. Those who run the world. 